Now, phosphate is something that can trick you because a standard test kit will test organic phosphate, but phosphate is available in an aquarium in all different sorts of forms calcium diphosphate, inorganic phosphate, and all other types of phosphates which don't show up on the test kits. So it's really easy to get tricked. So you can test your phosphate and you can get a very low or even zero reading and that can make you conclude that you don't have a phosphate problem but you very easily can. And phosphate's one of those things that really just seeps into your rock and it takes an amount of time to, for the phosphate to seep back out of the rock again. So sometimes you need to use your eyes to um, control phosphate as much as you need to rely on the test. So at the end of the day, if you're seeing green algaes in your aquarium, if you up your phosphate assault, um, then that will help to get rid of it. So for a situation like this, I would start increasing the amount of phosphate remover that I'm putting in the water and I will increase my pH. I'll make sure it's at least 8.4. I'll increase my calcium. I'll probably get it up around 500. I'll increase my magnesium. I'll get that up to sort of 1700. I will increase my KH. I'll get that up anywhere as high as 12. And all of these levels together with a low nitrate level will absolutely assault this algae. And fixing a situation like this will absolutely take focus and it will absolutely take time. But phosphate is a tricky one. It's not as it seems. You can't rely on tests.